All right, what I've got here is a Mazarin Arm 1. This is a tactical folding knife uh, made by Mazarin Italy. It features a stainless steel, a 440 stainless steel blade and uh, anodized aluminum handles. Uh, kind of a glass breaker at the back, although it's not very pointed. And then it only has a single position clip, but of course, with any knife I get, I have to modify it. Um, this is a really large knife, actually. Uh, I think it's around 3.6 inch blade um, and an overall length of 8.6 inches or thereabouts. 8.7 really thick handle uh, it's 0.6 inches wide but it fills the grip really nicely actually um, here's my ZT0560 for comparison you can see kind of that uh, it's just a little bit thicker overall but the ZT is contoured three-dimensionally, so it just uh, feels a little bit slimmer. This is a little bit more blocky, but it still feels nice in the hand. They did chamfer the edges up here, and it kind of just turns blocky at the back. They've got nice cutouts on both sides. It's a liner lock inset liner lock you can see it's not a full liner uh, it's got dual uh, finger guards fairly nice uh, I don't know it looks kinda goofy up here but there isn't really an easy way around that um, you can see the knife folded already has a fairly large uh, uh, form so just adding more material would make it first of all heavier and secondly it make it look pretty out of proportion um, it's got a, a flipper on this end and you can also use this part as a, a wave feature it doesn't work that good but it still works the knife is smooth enough that you can you can wave it out of your pocket, although I would uh, I would do so with caution, just because these things come razor sharp from Mazarin. I'll show you here with a scrap piece of paper. Very sharp. Um, yeah, like I said though, sorry, like I said, it's a 440 stainless, so it's not the greatest quality steel, but they do make it with N690 CO. It's a little bit more expensive than the one I got, but the MSRP is 139 euros, which translates to something like 200 US dollars. So it is in the price range of like uh, an Almar, Sear, or perhaps a Microtech, a used Microtech. Um, but it's, it's decent quality. Actually, it's really nice quality. Um, it, you know, the steel isn't that great, but again, you can get N690CO versions. Sorry, I had to get a drink of coffee but I love the blade shape um, I like the idea of dual thumb guards it just makes the knife feel really secure and um, it's not the smoothest just because it's so large but you can flick it open I prefer thumb studs and it always works like that um, Incidentally, the thumb studs also work as the blade stop. There is no internal blade stop. And yes, those are Teflon 
washers, actually. Just you know, PTFE washers. The handle is here, anodized aluminum with this really grippy insert. I don't know if you can see the texture of it, but it is insanely grippy. Uh, that will tear your pants up in a hurry. So, I don't know, I would probably recommend just uh, either cutting a piece out so that it can go in your pocket easy, or sanding it down so that it's not as rough. Be careful though because, you know, it's sitting flush with the, the anodized aluminum. And you could scuff that. Pocket clip is okay, it's not the greatest. Uh, those screws will change. I just I couldn't find any other screws, so I had to buy these. Actually, I didn't even buy them. The guy just gave them to me, which was nice. Blade centering is not perfect, but it's not bad. I mean, it's not scraping. I mean, for for the price at two hundred dollars, I would expect the centering to be perfect, um, but this isn't a $200 version. This is a cheaper version. I actually got it for 67 euros from from Couteau Clisse. It's a French um, supplier of knives. And that's one problem with this knife is that the only suppliers that I've seen for it are either well, basically they're they're French or Italian. There are no North American dealers who sell this knife. Um, there are none on eBay, so they're rather hard to find. Uh, but they there are out there, and they're a little expensive. And of course, you have to pay more for shipping when you're talking about international orders orders, but I don't know, I think it's worth it. Um, like I said, it compares to the Microtech, uh, same materials except for the blade steel. If you get the N690 version, it I recommend it. The Fox Predator 2 is an N690 CO blade and it rocks. This is a heavy knife too, it's around the same weight, um, and it's Italian made, around the same price, $140, $140 overall. Um, I think I paid $140 for the knife and then $20 for shipping for this one, or $20, yeah, I think I said that, and uh, $100 for this knife and 40 for shipping because it came from overseas. So, not a cheap knife, but you know, when you're talking in the level of Microtech and Elmar, that price is subjective. You could find it worth it or you might not. It's totally up to you. Um, 440 is not uh, a really hard use steel, but it is very corrosion resistant. So, um, if you were deployed with this knife and sharpness wasn't a, a real crucial aspect for your knife, I would recommend this one. Um, I've heard issues with with N690 chipping and whatnot. I don't know if that's true. I don't think it would be true, but. Um, just for a knife that, you know, this is intended as a military knife, and uh, I'd recommend the 440 version over the N690. I don't know if the N690 would really give you that much more uh, edge retention than this. Maybe a little bit, but not significant enough to warrant the extra price. Um, they also make this knife with different inserts. This is the most basic one 
they make. Um, just they call it no anti-slip insert or no slip insert. Uh, they also make it with different wood inserts and a few other ones I can't remember, but they look really nice and they just screw the inserts in. Um, so yeah, there you have it. The weight, incidentally, I didn't mention that, but the weight on this is 164 grams or 5.6 ounces. So yeah, it is a little bit heavy, but it's still lighter than the ZT, so same size almost. I'll lay them down here. Same size knife, but around the same weight. Actually, it's a third of an ounce less than the ZT, so I mean, I wouldn't go knocking it on the weight too harshly. It is, it does feel like a heavier knife, but it it really isn't. So, there you have it. The Mazarin Arm 1. Cool knife. Go check it out. Their website uh, is in Italian and English, so you can still read uh, some of the specs on their knives in English. They're not very in-depth specs, but they're decent. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.